Okay, let's get this going. <coughs> All right, what's going on, everyone? Active Sin here, and uh, Bayonetta 2 is dropped on the Switch today. We're going to play that. Uh, so let's get going here. Of course, we're using the Pro Controller. No data. This title uses an autosave feature. Please do not turn off your console. Story mode. Let's play on normal. We're going to... We're going to tap some amiibo on here too, make sure all that stuff's working as well. Once this opens. In a universe of light and dark, where perception is reality. Now we get to go through the amazing opening sequence. So just a little backstory of the game. This was originally launched on the Wii U, made exclusive by Nintendo, because uh, Xbox and Sony both passed on the game, making it that exclusive there, which is uh, unfortunate, because this game is amazing and they could have had it on their hands. And Sega had no interest in funding the game. So Nintendo stepped in and saved the title in exchange, they made it exclusive to the Wii U. But then we all found out the Wii U was a failure. And now here we are, 2018, February 16th. And uh, Bayonetta 2 has been ported over to the Switch. And what's really cool is they fixed a lot of the problems that the game had on the Wii U, which is mainly the frame rate issues. So the game will run actually a lot smoother now, which is great. And of course, you get the added benefit of portability. So playing this game on the go, that's gonna be amazing. Now we get our amazing little robot suit here. This game is non-stop craziness. If you've never played it before, I highly suggest getting Bayonetta 2, because it is incredible. If you like games like Devil May Cry, action games like that, you're gonna love this game. So we'll play about an hour, I think. We'll see how far we can get in about an hour's time. The story is kind of nonsensical gibberish, so it, it doesn't matter too much. <laughs> Basically, all you need to know about Bayonetta is she's a witch, and uh, she fights angels, and she also fights demons. She's kind of stuck in the middle. And she is very special, which you find out later in the story. Now, this game does come with a digital download of the first game. If you've never played the first Bayonetta, I do suggest playing that one first. But I recently played through that again on PC, so I'm just gonna go we're gonna start with Bayonetta 2. If you do start with 2, going back to 1 is kinda hard, because 2, you get more moves, and there's more combos and more weapons, so. I would suggest starting with one, because otherwise you'll be spoiled by two. <laughs> now, there's a thing that's called Witch Time with Bayonetta, so you see how I'm dodging here? That's with the right trigger, so if you do that at a certain time, when they're about to attack you, you actually slow down time, and uh, you get a bonus power, which is pretty sweet. So you definitely want to get used to doing Witch Time. It's the Lumen Sage. Inside four games, Bayonetta 2 docked and portable, Bayonetta 1 docked and portable. <laughs> I guess you could look at it that way. Oh. Lumen Sages are really tough.
They're basically like the alter ego of a witch. What? So this um, basically takes part, takes place directly after Bayonetta 1. So that's why you kind of want to play that first one. <laughs> but it is what it is. Together. Oh. And of course, throughout this game, this scene will make sense as we're going to play through it to figure out what happened. The right eye of light was lost from the world forever, along with its possessor, the last of the Lumen Sages. Uh, 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 is that an achievement? Okay. Um, let's see. How do we scan Amiibo? Can I just scan them whenever I want? Nope. All right. Let's go. Menu. Options. Controller rumble. On. Sure. Touch controls off. Okay. Subtitle, yeah, we'll have the subtitles on, why not? And display language, what? Okay, why is that even an option? You can't change them, strange. Okay, change your settings, yes. Can I not scan the amiibo whenever I want? Had issues earlier or what? Yeah, I don't know what was going on earlier, man. The, it just kept freezing and I kept getting drop frames and the stream would just shut off. So I don't know what was happening. But here we go, embarking on our fantastic journey. Sega. Sega. Nintendo. I'm so happy Nintendo saved this game. I would... We, we are better. The world is better for this game being made. Platinum. Team Little Angels. Cinematics Director Yuji Shinomura. The government has organized a team to investigate unusual weather and strong earthquakes occurring throughout the region. A better value than drop Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. Absolutely. That Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, that is a straight ripoff. One game and it costs more than when it originally launched on the Wii U. Nintendo is like straight scamming people for that one, man. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Enzo, this dude's hilarious. He's like the typical sleazebag. But weirdly, he's a really good father. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> Look at Bayonetta, so amazing. Oh, damn, she's gonna play him like that? This is why I can't have good things. You're a piece of work. You know that? If you're not already lined up to go to Inferno, you'd be on your way with that shit you pull. <laughs> he can't even see where he's going. This guy's crazy. Look at this perv, man. <laughs> Forget about it.
Yeah, graphically it's not really improved from the Wii U. But at least they got the frame rate up. It's basically a lock 60 now. It has a couple dips to like relatively low 50s, but it's a lot better than on the on the Wii U. Sorry, give me one sec. Bum, bum, bum. One sec. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Someone's at the door. I love how her shadow is uh, is her witch form. One of her summons. That's so cool. Sup, Alex? Working fine on my end. Okay, good. So I guess there's just some glitch earlier. scan these amiibo this is, I forgot how long this intro was oh dang Jean Wow, Jean, could you have found a more ridiculous way to leave? <laughs> this guy's still arguing about the jet. <laughs> Stop on forgiving. That one's pretty low. Oh. <laughs> Fuck the damn ribbon! Look at that style and grace. Bayonet is in your face! Now it's time to fight some angels. Well, in a moment. <laughs> Acceptance. Oh, time to go into the witch realm. Boom. Oh my. And basically, her hair is her costume, which is pretty crazy. And she uses her hair to use special power moves. Look how ridiculous this game is. <laughs> It 
This is basically the greatest game ever made. Boom. Oh, that was close. Well, the guns are really cool and it looks awesome. They don't actually do a lot of damage though. That's too awesome. My Amazon code for Bayonetta was already redeemed. I bought the physical customer service was atrocious. If I didn't already have the game free on Xbox, I would have been pissed. Oh man, that sucks. I don't want touch controls. Get out of here. Alright, now they go through the little basic tutorial. Next, yes. And you can mix up the combos. So put a punch, then a kick, and another punch, and you do that move. Hold down X or hold down A. Now let's use the guns. And she does have guns on her feet, which is on the kick button. So now we're gonna use witch time. So you dodge right when he's about to hit you, and it slows down time, lets you do a combo. So enemies will appear to move in slow motion for a set period of time. Oh yeah. And we got a halo. That's basically our currency to buy stuff later on. And the more you mix up the combos, the higher your score is more coins and whatnot you make and our little cheapo guns are breaking on us boom never buy anything on sale <laughs> those guns are cheap Hey, Santa Claus is here. It's Wakanda Santa. Fucking wonderful. Rodon. <laughs> Watch your mouth, Enzo. Poor Enzo. <laughs> Rodon's the best. To buy Rodon, I think it's like 999 million coins. It's something ridiculous like that. Here we go. There's the real guns. If she didn't make those portals, she wouldn't even be able to hold them because she's in the alternate dimension. <laughs> now he believes in Santa. Perfect catch. Time to be naughty. Umbrin Climax will allow you to unleash a barrage of infernal weaves. So the more combos you build, uh, you'll notice those little circles in the top left corner there. You build them up and you can unleash a really strong attack. Uh, and you can also do torture attacks, which they should explain in a little bit. So we'll build this combo stuff up. Let's try to do some cool shit. Now, if you get hit, your uh, your meter starts to go down, so try to avoid getting hit. All right, there we go. So now we can do a torture attack. So you get a special move like this. 
Oh, it's basically an instant kill on normal guys. Some of the stronger bosses, it it'll take down their health a lot, but it won't actually kill them. But whatever. So it's useful to build it up and save it for the stronger monsters. Boom! And there are little QTE moments like that, so if you don't press it fast enough, you will die there. Boom. It's Jean! Jean is just like Bayonetta, she is also a witch. She's nearly as powerful. Alright, here we go. So this big guy, he is noticeably stronger. So it would have been better if I kept my special for him. Because he can take a lot more damage. Alright, the green laurel, that's for health, you pick him up. So, instead of a torture attack, what I can do is unleash, and every one of my moves will be one of those super hands. So this is new for Bayonetta, uh, Bayonetta 2. In Bayonetta 1, they just have the torture attack, so unleashing that super move is really good for clearing out a lot of guys at once. Super useful. And you really do miss that if you go from this game and go back to Bayonetta 1. Because uh, you won't have it, obviously. And we can do gun combos. Boom! Oh man, I did that too early. Love that one. And that guy can hurt you too. Whoa! We're going down! He destroyed our ship. Run! Silver. It's real gamer in a Santa suit. <laughs> Belief. Alright, this is our first look at an actual boss, or mini boss, whatever you want to call him. So, one of the stronger enemies. It's definitely going to take a lot more work to take him down. So these kind of larger bosses, you cannot use um, the torture attacks on them until they're basically dead. But you can use the Umbrin attack, which you just saw me do earlier. Get him, Jean! Boom! Now we can go over here. We can kind of just stomp on this dude. To punish him. Ah! Uh. Yeah. All right, let's unleash. So it's very useful to use the Umbrim Climax on him. Now this guy's back. He threw his face sword at us. So they're basically stuck in witch time right now, so everything's super slow for them. They forgot the caviar. Can't have a party with that caviar. It's not Christmas without caviar. Now we're gonna double team this guy and just destroy his mind. It's super unfair for this guy, because any one of us could kick his ass, but now there's two of us. Punish him! Shall we use it? Yeah, we'll use it. 
Let's smack him up. All right, he's almost dead, so we'll be able to do our finishing move soon. There we go, punish. Boom! And time for climax. And now we get to see our first summon. And it's my favorite, the dragon. Oh. Alright, this is basically her strongest one. So she makes packs with uh, demons. So she feeds them and they, they kill stuff for her. <laughs> it's basically how it works. But Gomorrah here has decided... He's done with Bayonetta, and he's breaking free, and he has betrayed us. He's a traitor. So we gotta take down Gamora. So he was about to kill us, but instead he got Jean. And uh, Jean is about to be dragging down, dragged down to the underworld. And that guy just grabbed her booty. These demons, soulless beasts. Jean! Now we have to save Sean. But first, we gotta teach you a lesson, Gamora. I'm not one for pets who don't listen to the masters. So now we gotta smack the crap out of you. And this is the opening sequence of the game. Can you believe this? This game is amazing. All right, so unleash our umbrin powers on him. Take that. So it does take a little while to get used to the, the witch time, guys. So don't feel bad if you can't get it right away because there's a specific timing to doing it. So you notice there's like a slight slowdown right before he comes and hits you. That's when you want to dodge. So let's punish him. It'll take a while to get used to it. So you're going to get hit every once in a while. But once you get used to the timing of the witch time, it's really cool. Boom. Come back here, you. You're too far. I'm going to shoot you. Come back here. Oh, we can use it. Boom! I'm coming for you. Gah! I always get hit by that one. Boom! But it leads to a cool uppercut, so it's all good. You're not gonna hit me with your fireball, get out of here. Gamora! Ah, I hate that one. There we go. Alright, smash him up. Alright, climax. Here we go. Look at that, that is beautiful. Well, when your first summon doesn't work, you pull out another one. Oh, I didn't get the full power. But that's okay. If Gamora doesn't want to play, we'll just eat him. This is some demon on demon violence. Savages. Now he's our favorite now. Ba 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 ba. Uh, oh man, you guys are talking crazy in here. What's going on? Uh, what's, what are you talking about? The Xbox One indeed has a home it, having a quiet, peaceful life in a landfill next to the rest of the garbage. Damn! <laughs> yeah, I can't.
can't get the game sound to work. It doesn't go through this Razer uh, streaming box. I don't know what it's about. I wouldn't be surprised if Bayonetta franchise stay a Nintendo exclusive. Hey, it's not going anywhere. It's going to be Nintendo for a long time. Bayonetta needs to stay exclusive. Trying to hide your comments. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, exclusives are bad for the industry. Why keep a great franchise on a... <laughs> You're so mad. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. I hope Halo Gears, Fable, Uncharted, Killzone, Horizon all come to Nintendo. <laughs> oh man, you guys are funny. John's gonna wander Inferno, suffering for eternity. Man, he has such a cool robe. I want a robe like that. I could be Rodon for Halloween. I just gotta shave my head and put some fake head tattoos and get a badass robe. And a big cigar. You know better than that. Nintendo stepped up there. Fault your favorite company didn't think of the series was worth a damn. Exactly. This game wouldn't even exist without Nintendo, so don't even start with that, man. What about the gates? The real gates of hell. Oh, damn. We gotta save Sean. We gotta save her soul. You'll need this. The heart of an umbran witch. Nintendo can save Scalebound. Sadly, Scalebound's IP actually belongs to Microsoft, so only Microsoft can uh, re revive Scalebound. Platinum does not own the IP. Just like this game, Platinum doesn't own the IP of Bayonetta. Sega, unfortunately, owns it. I wish Nintendo would buy the IP from Sega. I'm not mad that Nintendo funded the game. I'm upset at those publishers that couldn't stop step up and fund the game for all systems. Yeah, even though that's why I don't like that Sega owns the IP. Sega owns this game, and they wouldn't even fund it. You know what I mean? Like that's crazy. It took Nintendo to fund this game to even make it come out. Like Sega. Like, they went broke or something, but, like, they stopped midway production of the game, and Nintendo had to fund the rest of it, and they made it exclusive. That's just... It is what it is. Like, Sega wasn't gonna... If, if it was just up to Sega, this game wouldn't even be out. It wouldn't be a thing. And we wouldn't have Bayonetta 3 on the way, either. How the hell do you scan the Amiibo? I'm gonna try and scan one right here. No. What if I press start? What about select? Menu, options, how the heck do you scan the amiibo? Maybe it's like in the game? Let's try. Nintendo needs to buy Bayonetta IP from Sega. Yeah, absolutely. They definitely do. Hey, Canada! We made it! <laughs> Alex, Bayonetta isn't owned by Sega. Bayonetta's owned by Platinum. No, it's not. Sega owns the IP of Bayonetta.
When Google, Netflix, and Amazon enter the gaming industry, I wonder what exclusives there will be to go after. Man, if Google was, like, serious about entering gaming, they have enough money to buy all the exclusives they want. <laughs> oh, friggin' Enzo. Forget about it. Ba, 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 ba. Jean is trapped. She saved our life. Now we must save hers. Hey, hey, don't lick your lips. You weren't gonna touch her. I won't let you. Da, da, da. Ha! Mario. You owe Alex the kid. Sega reference. Google will compete with Microsoft as a streaming service. Yeah, basically. Fimbleventer. You gotta have a death wish to get close to that place. Denzel's such a weird character. Uh-oh. We're under attack! Now she can see that demon, or that angel, but uh, Enzo cannot. Oh dang, he's in trouble. And yet Sega does nothing with the Alex the Kid. <laughs> I know, right? Imagine EA bought Microsoft Activision... Wait, what? Imagine EA bought by Microsoft Activision, by Google, Square Enix, by Amazon. We have all these start subscribing to a bunch of services, basically. That's what they want, though. They want... Like, EA's already trying it, Microsoft's doing it currently. Probably Activision will do it soon enough. All right, now let's see if we can scan our amiibo. Okay, no, not from here. What if I press this? I would like to change my costume. No, don't need that. No, I don't care about that. Go away. Hmm. Don't have any special weapons yet. That's the combos. How strange. How do you... Let's just see what happens if I press it here. Nothing's happening! Yes, we could turn into a panther. Yes, yes, yes. Very cool. She can transform into a bird, too. But I don't think I have that power yet. Uh, let's see. I want to get my costumes, dang it. Why won't they let me do this? Nothing. Hmm. You guys know how to get the amiibo going? Wait, we don't have any gun? Uh oh, swords. I don't have any other weapon yet. Hmm. Alright, well, I guess we can't scan them yet. Maybe that comes later. So you can see here, it's like way smoother on the Wii U. Like, this area really, like, starts to chug along. Unknown entrance. So these are, like, uh, challenge rooms. So if you do it, you get a nice bonus, like an extra heart, stuff like that. 
or more umbrin tiers, which let you do more special attacks. So here they tell you the challenge, defeat all the enemies within the time given. Aw, oh, dang it! I messed that up. God damn it. There we go, got him. So, we will get a prize. There we go, heart container. Broken Witch Heart. So we need to collect four of those to increase our health. Uh, use the amiable before you start the chapter on the option menu. I did that though. You know what, we're gonna go back to the title screen. So I wanna get my costumes. Is it like in here or something? No, we did that. This has not been unlocked, what? Continue. Oh, how am I here again? All right, let's go back here. Chapter select. Let's see. Same thing, like, none of these buttons do anything. Menu. Story mode option menu? What? I don't know what you're talking about, man. This is the story mode. And I'm pressing it on the controller. It's not doing anything. Let me try a different one. Maybe that amiibo's broken. <laughs> Thing. And here, practice mode doesn't do anything. Let me try from the title screen. Keeps and it's keep scanning. Keep, keep scanning everywhere. Sorry where you left off. I would like to. Chapter select, sure. It's not working. Whatever, we'll figure it out eventually. Stop though. I did. I went there. There's no amiibo option. We're not watching this again. Skip. Skip. Wait, how do we do that again? Is it this? How do we do that dance again? Huh, not working. Go to option in menu in story mode. All right, we'll try this one more time, man, but I, I'm basically sure we just did that.
Okay. Story mode. There's no option here. Let's try here. Uh, camera. No. No. Nothing there. Uh, nothing there. Hmm. And then there's no options in here. So I'm not sure uh, what you're talking about, guy. <laughs> You're checking yourself right now. Well, if you can figure it out, that's good. But I don't see it. Let me make sure that uh, we still have our items. The heart we got. Oh, one sec. You just sent me a message on Twitter. Oh, maybe I have to get to, uh... Oh, you're in Rodan's shop. Maybe I, I haven't got to a Rodan store yet. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, we got the heart still. Alright, let's go. Hey, we got another broken heart. Just make sure there's nothing over here. So you definitely want to like walk around the areas because you'll find treasure chests like we just found. They're usually good stuff. So do a quick run around, make sure nothing else is here. Nice reflection in the water. In the first bayonet, it takes a while before you get this pa uh, panther power, so it really speeds up the game once you get it. Okay, nothing else here. Fragments of memory. Considering you and real are quote unquote neutral gamers, would you purchase an additional Google, Amazon, Netflix gaming system if they all came out? You want me to own seven gaming consoles, guy? <laughs> That's too many. Sealed time. Even three gaming consoles is a bit much. Let's see if we look over there, there's a treasure chest down there, so we're gonna go get that guy. Oh no, we're under attack! Baked gecko cured. Within a crystallized block, baked gecko is a concoction concocting compound used by witches so you can like get these materials and create lollipops which give you more powers like refill your health stuff like that this green one you want for the health later on in the game it's very helpful to have these kind of things Oh, we got him. All right, do the kiss. There we go. Now, where did that treasure box go? There you are. Hey, 
One more part of a heart, and we will get more health. Oh yeah, you can't use the panther underwater, forgot about that. Okay, so there's another one of those challenge rooms there. Let's see if we can get this one. Some of these challenge rooms are really difficult. Alright, what do we need to do here? You only deal damage during which time? Still alive? Come on, hit me. There we go. Oh, this one's a moon piece. I was hoping it was another heart. So we get two of these and we get an extra, like one of the circles for more witch powers. Let's get out of here. Google's gonna fail and Amazon might lose. We'll see. Like, I don't know, man. Like, if Google has a console and Amazon has a console, Netflix has a console, that's too many consoles. Not Nobody's gonna buy all those. Okay, what's over here? Oh, there's a treasure box. Let's bust it open. go up here. It always pays to look around the area, guys. Definitely want to check that. We got some nice booty action here. Boom. Let's go. Hey, and we're out of the water. Anything behind? Nothing there. Aha! There's Rodon's place. Maybe now we can scan our amiibo. Rodon! Santa don't get paid up for this shit. I could see Google straight up buying Platinum Games and Activision. Yeah, they, they could. Rodon makes the, his, uh, makes her guns. <laughs> Sonic rings. Sega. I always found that to be a really funny reference. Whoa. <laughs> He's like one of the strongest demons, apparently. Well, let's go to his shop. Let's see what we can do here. Enter the gates of hell. Multi-plots are like sluts. <laughs> is fair. Oh, he's always got fun, something funny to say. Okay, this symbol graces only the hottest of the hot items in my shop. If you're not sure what to go after, look for the face and you can trust. There we go, amiibo. Let us scan. Seeing this reminds me of a guy that just passed through. He, uh, he croaked about something like
Hey, ask Sean how our wing's holding up. Our wing, the hell is a slippery dude like that talking about? The following Radon treasures have been unlocked. The Couture Bullets, Star Mercenary. Alright, we got our Peach Amiibo this time. Special delivery from the Mushroom Kingdom. Even with all the golf, tennis, and go-karting, these folks remember their manners. Got some tea I picked up in Kyoto. I wouldn't mind splitting it with them. The following Radon treasures have been unlocked. Couture Bullet, Mushroom Kingdom Princess. Alright, let's get Samus. Hey, got something here from the toughest bounty hunter in the galaxy. And you know I love a badass with a big heart. Or was it the other way around? Might have to whip something up for her someday. The following Radon treasure has been unlocked. Couture Bullet Galactic Bounty Hunter. And we got Link Amiibo. Looks like this package is from Hyrule. Ain't a soul in hell that don't know that name. A lot of history, a lot of legends. Whatever, it's gotta be something special. We have unlocked the hero of Hyrule. All right. Wrote on treasures, can't buy anything yet. So here we can buy items like um, lollipops, which give you health. But I want to buy this heart here. Which heart? 30,000, yes, we can afford this. That brought our health up, perfect. Next one's gonna cost us 50,000. Uh, the red hot shot, this is really useful guys. Uh, if you die, uh, this will automatically heal you if you have one. You can only have one at a time, so it is what it is. What did this do again? Those who will ring this bell are said to be deemed worthy of King Midas and receive his blessing. Oh, I don't care about that. Uh, let's get the healing ones. Okay, so accessories. So this stuff gives you a lot of bonuses. You wanna save up for these. There's a few really good ones, but we'll get that later. How do I switch my costume? Uh, we'll see how many ponies will continue talking to you in the important of single player interactive movies that both Activision and ER bought out. <laughs> that one's a good one. Oh, I do not want that on. Okay, can I switch from here? Totally forgot how to switch your costume. No, it's not from here. I think it's from the title screen. Yes, whatever. Single player is the best. It is. Okay, direct access route from chapter selector road on store has been opened. Perfect. Menu. Ah, there we go. Character settings. So. Now we can change our costume. Princess Peach, Hyrule, Metroid, Star Fox. What do you got? Well, let's just do Star Fox first. All right, let's go back to this. <laughs> so awesome. Hey, skip this. Yes, 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 go away. Now, we are playing as Star Fox Bayonetta. Let's run over to where we were before. Go to the portal. Yes, 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 yes. We saw this already. Ah, oh, I probably have to fight these guys again. Like, I love this costume. Look at this. Look at this. The guns are our wings. Isn't that ridiculous? And he's got little uh, 
She's got the Star Fox crew hanging, like little cell phone things. <laughs> so awesome. All right, where was I going this way? I don't know, man. It's so good. Even as the target box from Star Fox. Unicorn horn. I guess we didn't get that earlier. Perfect. All right, let's get going. Let's go that way. Platinum metal. So, if you've already gotten opened one of the chests that had a heart or something, next time you open it, it'll just be like coins, stuff like that. Will Doc Trey play Metroid Prime 4? <laughs> I doubt that. Uh, been at a fox calling clock tower, no items. <laughs> Run! Let's go! What the heck? Ah! Run to attack! Whoa! Come back here, you dick! Oh, we can't go that way, so let's bust this door open. Okay, anything over here? Aha! So, I was looking for one of these earlier. Okay, so this is an invisible treasure chest, so we have to... How do we open this? I totally forgot. Okay, this seems to be a reflection of an umbrin resting place. Okay, so we gotta hit these. We gotta get all of them in a row, and then it'll create the treasure chest for us. And we have to do it within the allotted time, of course. Got one, two... Okay, three... Of course the first one is basically super easy but later I, as i say that i can't find the last piece but uh <laughs> later these get really hard oh there it is all right so now we have all five so it's going to piece together this thing now we can go get that treasure box and those ones usually have better stuff inside but we'll quickly get this one over here so we don't forget it. We got a lot of halo rings. Now let's go back to this one and see what kind of cool stuff we're going to get. If I can remember where the heck it was. Wasn't it right here? Oh no, I shouldn't have went in the middle. All right, that's fine, we'll get it after. Bayonetta is such a fox. <laughs> Good one. It's Yugi, Yugi Moto. It's time to do 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 duel. These punters don't know when to quit. Oh yeah. We need a new F-Zero, yeah. 
Nobody remembers Red Out. Didn't they just remake Red Out? You could see me. <laughs> you missed one guy. Eh. Crotch shots, yeah, they, they are plentiful. Oh no, the angels are coming. Accolade. Time to crush. All right, perfect. So we'll, we'll use our torture attack on this guy. So you'll see he won't actually die from this. Oh, he did! Good, I guess he's not that strong. Some of the stronger enemies don't actually die from it. Boom! We gotta kill that guy. I hate that guy. Long range dudes are so annoying. Hey! Take that, Star Fox lasers! So close. Hey, get over here, you. See ya. Perfect. All right. Ooh, we got a new weapon. What did we get? Angelic Hymns Gold LP Entrance of the Gladiators. A golden LP featuring the crystallized bushes of angels with some sort of silhouette. Okay, let's go find that treasure box. It must have been further back. There it is. Okay, let's see what we get. Hey, heart piece. Perfect, more health. Wait, we got something cool here. Relics. It's been long overdue for a Halo 3 remaster. I hope so, I love Halo 3. Hey, there you are, face sword guy. I feel the power of the remembrance of time. 
Where did the boy flee? <laughs> Stamp face sword. The famed witch. The greatest of blessings to have you all here as well. Thus the eyes of the world will be together. She just shot him in the face like, nah. We're done with you. Nah. Alas, I digress. You shall not escape our grasp. Man, we're gonna smack the shit out of you. Val Valiance. Sup, Tony? A friend is waiting for me. Oops, I forgot we're using this stupid weapon. Alright. Hey, get out of here! Go! Gotcha. All right, let's smack him up. As you can see, as we beat down the enemy, his armor starts to fall off. I want to knock all his armor off, get him really weak, and we can do some really cool stuff to him. Climax time! Hey, there she is. This is the strongest one. Look at that, it's ridiculous. Oh! Yes, Spinetta 2 is better on this on the switch. Okay, so I always have trouble getting these stupid birds. Alright. Let's get this. Hey, we got a one of those. Uh we'll do that later. Cache and compassion. Got the big one. The gun moves are really good against those guys. Oh, he's dead. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, dang. That's no way to talk to a lady, guy. Eh? Fimbleventa. He has no position of strength. <laughs> Can do it with guns. Oh, 
This Star Fox costume is the best. What condition, Yugi? Ma'am. Bayonet it is. Oh, damn. She said you get a real name when you're a man. That's fucked up. <laughs> Purification grounds. Uh, get that later. Book on concocting. Hey, concocting pieces. Maybe we can find this. Yes, 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 they're everywhere, I got it. Uh, if I can reach that. Yeah, I don't have, oh, no, I can. All right, very good. Oh yeah, let's get something cool. Calm down, Loki. We'll get your shit, all right, guy? Yeah, heart piece. Get this. Hey, yellow lollipop. All right, what we got here? Whoa! There we go. I don't know why that wasn't working. Oh, you annoying little guy. Who else wants some? You want some? Dang it. Come on. Oh yeah. Perfect. All right, who else wants some? Oh, big guy. Urbane. See his umbrella powers on him. Emma. Ah, dang it. Smack him down. And the awesome headbutt. Jeez, let's take his weapon. 
Just watch the movie Sing on Netflix and my nephew and his friends and the minions were lit. Can't wait. Uh, could the Illumination be planning on throwing a damn minions into the Mario movie? Let's hope not. Okay, was it this way we need to go? I think so. Eh, we don't need that right now. Oh no! Under attack! It's this guy again. Sovereign One, you must flee no more. Accompany me, the Prophetic One. The Prophetic One is waiting. <laughs> oh, he got saved. Why do you interfere, Umbra Witch? This is not your battle, but it may well be your end. Man, you ain't shit. Oh, got me. Smack. Come on. Oh no! <laughs> Wait till we get in sl slow down. There we go. Now let's smack him up. Hit in. Gotcha. All right, he's almost dead. Climax! Oh, brutal. See ya. Oh, Loki. You crazy guy. <laughs> Got saved. And held like a baby. Can't escape, little squirrel man. Oh, he is lucky. That is the one, is it not? He looks bad. Alright, y'all. We're gonna end it here. That, uh... He's up to Chapter 1, Bayonetta 2. On the Nintendo Switch, guys. We've got the Amiibo support now. Portability. 
And most of all, they fixed the frame rate. Yay! I'm a happy boy. So, there you go. I'll play more tomorrow. But for right now, I'm going to head out of here. Thanks for dropping by. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.